In this video, I want to do a review of the website loopTheApp.com, which is also the app called Loop, uh, just to let you know about this and let you know my thoughts about it after I have recently done my first purchase. Let's get into this. So Loop is one of the more well-known platforms that's usually used for breaking. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you know I don't actually do breaks that often. I've, I've done them twice. Um, and if you are into breaks, you know, I think there are some advantages to Loop. You know, you can see all of these different, they've got a lot of different shops that for at this moment here. There's these five guys here that are online. If you go into any of them, I don't know these five particularly, but if you go into any of them, you can see they have a live a live stream. This is happening right now. Uh, this is just three viewers in this right now. And then you can go and see the different items they have for sale. Now in most of them, you're either going to be buying into breaks or you're going to be buying boxes and things. Uh, the ones that I have found myself being drawn to are those ones that are actually are selling single cards. Uh, and other and other things. There's also occasionally sports memorabilia and other things that are, that are up for sale. And those are the ones that I think present a more interesting possibility on Loop. Now, again, if you're into breaks, there are some advantages to a, a, a service like Loop where there is at least a certain degree of safety for them to be on this platform and to stay on this platform. They have to have a decent business. If they didn't, they wouldn't be on here. So that by itself, if you don't have a, if you break a lot and you don't have a breaker that you like particularly are drawn to, this is a good place to start. My preference here is actually not to the breaks. Th this guy right here who comes online, well, this is my Saturday morning, but it's actually your Friday evening. Uh, he has almost all single cards. Now, one of the cool things, you know, I, my suggestion is if you wanted to try loop and you weren't into into breaks come when this guy is online on Friday night now if you sign up for an account and you use my affiliate link in the description box below you will get ten dollars credit added to your account I'll also get I think three dollars additionally which is kind of cool but the cool thing is you know if you get that ten dollars into your account you have to spend at least ten dollars of your own cash so basically if you spend twenty dollars you get ten dollars off but if you go to this guy and I specifically suggest you come to this guy because he has almost all individual cards um, you know and if you are online like you can buy these right now when he's offline no problem but if you are on there when he is actually on there you might be able to you know talk with him because that's one nice thing about an online live platform like this as opposed to eBay that you can actually negotiate with with the person on here so for example when I went on to loop I decided I was gonna try them out they had sent me an email saying hey would you be interested in being an affiliate and I was like I don't know anything about you and I said well at least at a minimum I would go ahead and do a, a review and just you know try try out your site see what I think about it and just tell my audience generally what I think and so they said that sounds great if you want to do more with it in the future that's great here's an affiliate link and I was like all right fine I'll try and they gave me $25 credit so I came in and I started exploring I was like, okay, here's a break, here's a break, here's a break. Some of them seem decent, but I'm just like, I'm not that into breaks. And then I found this guy. I was like, whoa, look at this. There's cards. I could buy single cards. Oh, there's some good cards in here. And there's basketball, there's all different sports. So I ended up looking through this when he was online one time. And then I ended up finding, um, actually, I, I ended up buying three cards from him. I got two Yao Ming patch cards. One was from his rookie year, one was from his second year. And then I got a Tracy McGrady patch card. All of these were numbered. It was a really good deal. You know, the, the, they were listed at about $15 a piece. I can't remember exactly, but the whole price was about $45. But I negotiated with the guy, I ended up getting $37, including shipping. And, and then and I, I went ahead and did it and I thought this was a, a great deal you know it was it was really excellent and I saw also at the time he was doing the live he was he was focusing on a lot of like um, budget stuff so he's like you know here's a card he had it listed up on the up on the up on the loop here for 10 bucks but he's like right now I just want to get rid of this I'll sell this for four bucks and then he was lotting things together and so you know my suggestion is if you want to try out loop if you're into this in the same way I am, I think what would be cool is to use my affiliate link, get that $10 credit, go in here and just see on a Friday night, see how many different cards you can get bunched together for 20 bucks and then buy it. And then you're only paying 10 bucks. If you, you know, have arrange it with the guy, the, the, the shipping is part of it. See how much can, you can get for 20 bucks, including sh shipping. And then you've only paid 10 bucks and then you can get some good cards and he's got a bunch of stuff in here. And then if you like it and if you want to try it more, I think it's, it's interesting. I, after buying from this guy, 
guy one time, I have a feeling I'm going to become a regular customer. I mean, he, he's got some pretty good deals. He's got a lot of cards. He's willing to negotiate. I just, it, it felt like a, a good a good experience. It was an enjoyable experience. In fact, I'd say it was the closest thing I've come to feeling like I was in a local card shop or or at a card show, but just online. You know, it was an actual interaction. It did get a little a little hectic at times. You know, there was a, quite a few people on some of the breaker channels when there's a lot of, um, there, there's, there can be less people on there, it seemed. On this one, there was, there was quite a bit of activity. There was quite a few, bit of people asking questions about certain cards and things. So it, it got a little hectic, but it was still nice. You know, it was still just chatting with this person and asking questions about cards and, and, and trying to find some good deals. So I have a feeling I'm probably going to become a, a semi-regular customer of this guy over time. If you were interested in Loop, this would be the more likely place I would, I would direct you to. Unless, of course, you're into breaks. The breaks here, I think the prices on the breaks and the other platforms are probably pretty similar to what you would get elsewhere, I think. There's a lot of shops, so there's really almost anything you could want will be there somewhere. A lot of these shops are, are, are varied. They have a lot of different sports. And there's some shops that focus specifically on just football or just soccer, or, you know, different things so you can kind of find the, the place that you like if, if you're in if you're into breaks mojo break i watch their podcast sometimes so anyway i just wanted to introduce this to you you know i know it's a big platform and a lot of people are probably familiar with it i wasn't familiar with it when they first sent me an email uh, and then i went and, and explored and looked up more about them i i don't know how they compare to you know i know there's other apps out there card shop live that the guys over at sports card nonsense are real involved with i know that does a lot of similar kind of stuff and i know there's other apps out there I don't have any sense of comparing like what's better, why, things like that. I just know that from my from my limited experience exploring through here for this video also, you know, I, I tried to go through and, and get to understand things quite a bit. I had a I had a good experience with them. Another thing that that I actually quite liked is, you know, I actually was having trouble with the payment system. You need to pay things through Google Pay. I hadn't set up Google Pay. But when I was first having trouble with it, I sent I sent the, the team a, an email because there was actually I went in to buy something and then it got like like stuck on the, you know, my order got stuck on pending and I couldn't purchase anything. Uh, and at, at first it was kind of annoying. In fact, even my credit that was in my account, it disappeared. And I was like, what just happened? Like the, 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 the didn't go through, the payment didn't go through, my credit disappeared. What do I do? I, I sent them, I sent the team there an email and I got back, you know, I got a response back within 24 hours and it was really helpful. They, they helped, you know, they, they reloaded that $25 back in, back in credit there. And they kind of helped me figure out what was possibly going wrong. And then, and then everything ended up working fine. And then I bought it and everything went fine after that. So actually, that actually, I'm kind of glad that I had that negative thing happen because it, it helped me see that, okay, they do support, you know, they're there, they're, you, they're responsive. It's not one of those like mega companies that's so far away. You know, if you have an issue like that on eBay or something like that, there's no way you're going to ever talk to a person. Uh, there I felt like, okay, if there's an issue, if there's something that comes up, I feel a sense that there's that they're actually a company I, I can communicate with, which is a big deal for me. So anyway, that's my that's my review. I, I quite enjoyed my experience. Again, that one I was really specifically suggesting was these cards here, which would be Friday evening. I believe um, that's like uh, usually it starts between 10 and 11 p.m. Friday evening on Eastern Standard Time, so quite late. <laughs> so, but I but I do think there is advantage to going there when he's on there. I mean, if you see some cards in there and you don't want to bother negotiating, you can go there anytime and you can purchase at any time. He doesn't have to be on there for you to make the purchase. But if you want to be, you know, getting a negotiating some deals and getting some lots or anything like that, then you're going to want to go on when he's actually online once once a week. Now there probably are some other. I haven't explored every shop. There there might be some other places that also do single cards. I would be surprised if there wasn't. I mean, there must be some. It's really a breaking platform, but there must be some. I, I also saw, I got an email recently. I know that there's one of these shops, I don't know which one, is also going to be doing like a memorabilia, um, you know, like authenticated and signed jerseys and things like that. So you can see some other additional things here and there besides breaks, which is cool. I don't know. I haven't seen like auctions and stuff like that, that I know what whatnot is very famous for. But personally, I'm also okay with that. I like the, I don't like the auction the auction thing as much. I like much more like going in, like just gradually exploring, looking through the inventory and seeing what I might pick out and seeing the negotiating a, a reasonable price, you know, with that little stack that I've picked out. Like I enjoy that approach to things. And that's the feeling I, I got through going to this D's card. So Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this was useful. And again, if you do sign up for a Loop account, please do use my affiliate link as I do get a little bit of a uh, kickback from them as well, which is kind of cool and doesn't cost you anything at all. So, uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. Peace.